The Japanese gaming outfit Hudson Soft has come through in the clutch in terms of giving the gaming public some crunchy, tasty platformers and adventure games to snack on like a bag of potato chips. One only needs to turn to the world-famous Bomberman or Adventure Island to prove this point. Although many of their most popular series are released only in Japan, such as the ever-obscured Tengai Makyo, there are a few that may have managed to slip through the cracks into the American market. Isn't it appropriate that a bee gets his time in the Hudson Soft spotlight? Apparently they thought so with Pinobi, an action platformer that reminds me of more than a few of my undisputed favorites from old school gaming. First off, Pinobi's dash attack just screams Arrow the Acrobat. A few exceptions were put in place, such as his ability to dash in the cardinal directions as well as diagonally, and a hover command that lasts a lot longer than Arrow's. What probably confuses me the most is the repeated inflation of his head. It's hilarious, and adds to the overall bizarre atmosphere this game offers. I would also go as far to say that it gets a little Sonic the Hedgehog in here sometimes, specifically Sonic and Knuckles with bouncing mushrooms everywhere. The pickier critics might even suggest that Pinobi's jump command is enough to warrant a few comparisons to Sonic or Mario when it's landed on an enemy, even more towards the Sonic or even Donkey Kong countryside when Pinobi is launched out of a series of cannons. Along the way in this game, you will interact with NPCs that you'll stop and have a brief chat with, such as this cricket character. More useful, however, is the fairy that awards you an extra point to your dash count, allowing you to string more together. Golden enemies are important to defeat in a level, so that the next one you meet isn't as strong as it could be. In addition, a switch you throw in one level may have its effects revealed in a later one, which adds to the overall bizarre factor that Pinobi does so well to convey. I'm definitely charmed by the cuteness factor of this game, especially due to the diary entries that our hero writes about the adventure he had that day. It's up to you, platformer fans, to write that story for him in Pinobi, a 32-bit Hudson Soft creation that is simply good clean fun.